Good morning, everybody. Does anyone feel the presence of God in this place today? Amen. Uh, on behalf of the entire Swilly family and my church, the movement, thank you all for inviting me to be a part of this monumental event today. Uh, celebrating the life and legacy of Dr. King is truly humbling, and it's also the greatest honor of my life. I want to read a passage out of Colossians chapter 3, verse 11 through 17. <clears throat> it says, Here there is neither Jew nor Greek, circumcised or not circumcised, barbarian or Scythian, neither male or female, slave or free, but Christ is all and in all. Somebody say all. all. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against one another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Ladies and gentlemen, we are one, and it's about time we started acting like it. I love the word all, and I believe that Dr. King was an all type of pioneer. He reached across all aisles. No matter what your viewpoint was, no matter what your stance or your belief was, he reached out to you and built a bridge. He broke down walls. And I believe if Dr. King were here today, he would take that same scripture and push it a little bit further. I believe he would say that in Christ, there is neither male or female. In Christ, there is neither black or white. In Christ, there is neither gay or straight. In Christ, there is neither Democrat or Republican. In Christ, there is neither Christian, Jew, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, atheist. We are one. Somebody say one. And it's because of the love that made that way. Love is what builds us together. Love is what makes bridges. Love is what breaks down walls. Love is what picks you up when you're in the bottom of the valley. Love is what reaches you when you're on the top of the mountain and feel stuck. Love is the only way. Dr. King once said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So I speak to the darkness in our world today and I say, let there be light. I speak to the hatred in our world today and I say, let there be love. Love is the legacy that we carry forward from Dr. King. Love is ultimately what will change this nation and ultimately save this world. I love you, I thank you, and I look forward to the work we'll do together in the coming days. God bless you and God bless Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In the name of Allah, the 